I come from planet Earth, upstate New York, northern Pennsylvania, the U.S. I come from Peckville, Pennsylvania, upstate New York, and Puerto Rico. I come from Uruguay. Do you know where? I come from the Midwest of the USA, upstate, but not as upstate as how. I come from northern Philadelphia, Detroit, South Carolina, Granville, Ohio, and if we're talking to New Yorkers, I come from Brooklyn. I come from Maryland and El Salvador. I come from El Salvador, and though I was born in Canada, I didn't live there for 60 years. I come from my mother's from Panama, and my father's parents are from Jamaica. I come from Italian and Irish. Are you asking my ethnicity? I come from the Canary Islands, where you were born, where you grew up. I come from my mother's Austrian, my father's Yugoslavian, and it's an identity issue. I come from 100% Italian. Depends on the context. Sometimes I won't admit I'm from Maryland. I come from, I've been told, I have an accent. I'm from Canada, but I come from Latin America. There were a lot of immigrants there, and mine were French. Got married and in about two months we were here. And, uh, Which year? Uh, <laughs> we were here 71, 27 uh, June. So, I mean, this poor guy started doing his internship and he was like a slave. Which poor guy? You. <laughs> <laughs> you know why I'm saying poor guy? Because they made him work like uh, 48 hours sometimes straight. So he was like another slave of the hospital. I'm a physician too, and anyway, by the way, I had to pass my exam, so I waited, you know, to start working. So I did a fine work. I'm a pathologist too. The funny story is now I said after you said stories that affected our life, it did. So I mean, we were so exhausted, tired, leaving your whole family alone in the United States, except one uncle who was like you know, in New Jersey, and he landed in uh, you know Jersey City. So me and him, we said, oh, let's uh, you know have some, we are both fond of movies, and Indian movies, Urdu movies, whatever you call, mm -hmm. and we went, both of us said, okay, let's have fun. So anyway, we go to Columbia University to see a movie. And me and him are walking, and I'm this newly, new bride, and I'm dressed up in my jewelry, which I never got time before to <laughs> dress up much as a medical student. So he's walking ahead of me, and I'm behind him, and suddenly, this young, unfortunately, I have to call him. You know, Harlan. Harlan, yeah, Harlan, sorry. Harlan, yeah. Harlan. so I, I should not say he was an African-American guy, a young guy, and he comes straight to Dr. Sufi. And he took his knife and kept on his chest. And you know, he said, give me all the money you have and I'll let you go. And I looked at him and he was so calm because maybe we were in, new in the United States, we haven't struggled too much here. so. He, he takes his wallet out and he says, okay, I have like, I think $50, I just got my first pay. Okay, um, you can have uh, 40, but give me $10 so I can go back. So that guy did give him $10, but that really, after that we were just kind of you know, shaky and I said, we don't want to see a movie. Let's uh, just go back and take a train. But that scared me in this country that you know, you were new here, and uh, I was thinking, he was saying, well, I mean, maybe we should go back to our own country, you know. And that was an experience that you have to stay safe in this country. All the jewelry and very nice clothes and everything. And when, when he asked me to give the money, and all I was thinking is, this man is going to get after her jewelry, because the jewelry was very expensive and all that. So I said, what will be better for us, whether to let her uh, snatch her jewelry or just give my paycheck, which pay, pay money which I have just gotten. That was my second or third paycheck. And I said, the best thing is you save her because not if she decides not to give jewelry, they are going to attack her. And um, uh, that's when I took my $50 off of my wallet. I said, you know, we don't have a car. We have come by uh, what you call the subway. Um, and uh, we have to go back. So if you're kind enough to just give me 10 or 15, $20 back. And he was nice. He gave me that $20. I come from Haiti, Boston, Chicago, Tifton, South Carolina, Peru.
I come from California and Maryland and Maryland and Virginia and D.C. I come from why? From Chicago, El Salvador, still El Salvador, from North Carolina and the D.C. metro area. I come from Haiti, from Boston, from what are you really asking? Depends. I come from Maryland. I come from my mama. Why? I come from a mess, a place of true openness. I come from my mama's blank, Paris. I come from, would you like to see my birth certificate? I come from, correct them or let them find out that I come from Barcelona, Spain. Like I am a woman, I am here, I am present, and I'm not going anywhere. So, you know, that's kind of what came up for me, that because that I am a woman, I am a man campaign. I had not written down, but I thought about it, I was telling you. And then from Julia's story, um, I'm, so, I'm so impressed by, she was telling me about, about the Trump election that came up um, with Do, Dory, Doria? Yeah. Okay, with Doria's story. And, um, but she mentioned the Trump story too, um, only when Trump was elected and that, how that impacted her and how she realized like how it was gonna impact the people that she knew directly in her school and things like that. Um, and that just brings me to, I was saying to her that it just, I'm really proud of the teenagers of taking, um, you know, taking steps and being more thoughtful in, in what's happening in the world, you know? And I'm really proud to see um, the teenagers like stepping up and really thinking about how this is gonna affect like their friends and their people in their neighborhood and their community. So it, it does make me hopeful to know that they're, they're thinking much broader than that. All right, one clap. I come from Miami, Florida, Washington, D.C., Virginia, P.G. County, El Salvador. I come from P.G. County again, and D.C., and D.C., and Maryland, and L.A. I come from the Silver Spring, Montgomery County area in Maryland. I come from New York, from Cameroon, the D.R., the V.A. I come from Maryland, and Silver Spring, and Montgomery County. I come from El Salvador and Togo. I come from El Salvador, born in America, from my mom, from the hospital. I come from Cameroon, from New York, from the earth. I came from my mom, my dad too, it's teamwork. I come from the US, that hospital in the DMV, in the DMV. I come from, I don't know, don't worry about it. I come from Costco. I come from a past of amazing experiences. I come from, why do you want to know? I come from around the way in El Salvador. I come from the moon, over that way, Jupiter. I come from a two-parent home, from El Salvador, from understanding where my parents are from. I come from a stone in England, the tree people summoned me. I come from Hawaii, the fire nation. I come from Fortnite, the people sent me here. I come from the air, the sky, a place where people don't judge. I come from the water around Hippie Island. I come from your mom. <laughs>